Hi guys, this is Wormlight Tarot and welcome to today's reading. It is a spring inspired reading for love, so love is in the air type of reading. Um, but you can watch this video anytime, it is timeless. Um, and it's about basically your current energies related to your love life, like maybe related to one specific person or to energies all around um, versus this other person's energies or overall energies surrounding you, if that makes sense. So, as usual, we have three piles of cards here. Um, pile number one, this is uh, Spectralite. It's got these beautiful blue specks in it. I hope you can see it. Pile two, there's Malachite. And pile three, we've got Jet here. So, a love reading this time, um, so think about your situation or your person um, and I will let you have a few moments alone with these cards so you can see which pile you feel drawn to and as usual this is a general reading so just take in the messages that resonate with you and leave out the rest, okay? But now you will get a few moments alone with these piles. If you need more time, feel free to pause the video and then skip to the part of the video where your reading is, okay? Hello everyone who chose pile 1 with Spectralite. So here are your cards, let's have a look at them. So the first three cards that I pulled for you represent you in this situation, so this could be your current situation or um, towards the past a bit, towards the future a bit. So these are, you know, could be like internal or external energies um, related to you when it comes to your love life, okay? So we've got Page of Pentacles here, Queen of Pentacles here, and the Tower. Interesting. Um, so we've definitely got a lot of, you know, steady, grounded earth energy here. So I feel like you've done your work, you are quite mature, or you are currently like doing the work um, related to, you know, perhaps changing stuck ideas you might have about love and relationships. Um, I feel like you are uprooting unhealthy ideas and planting seeds for the better. You know, the tower is can be a pretty scary card, but here this card stands for renewal more than anything. Um, the story related to this specific card in this tarot deck um, it's about this oak tree that covers the entire sky and it doesn't let any light shine through so it needs to be cut down so I feel like you have been doing that work in your own life related to love and romantic relationships um, or you could be doing that work right now uh, which is a good thing definitely. Um, I'm also getting a lot of like nurturing, loving energy here from these 
pentacles. I feel like you are a person who has, you know, like you're very protective of other people. Like when you're in a relationship and you've got a lot to give, like you may be even this motherly type of person. Um, at the same time, you've got a lot of this youthful energy here. Um, feel like you love to learn about yourself and about the other person in the relationship and like if you are in a relationship you just love to grow as a couple it's very important to you but i feel like you know with this energy here just make sure that you are giving this energy to someone who is worth it so you are not like mothering someone who just takes it for granted okay and maybe that could be this challenge that you you've had in your life this thing that you are trying to grow away from yeah so let's look at the cards surrounding the energies of this you know possible other person maybe you have someone in mind or just the energy that surrounds your love life when it comes to you know the energy opposite you or surrounding you so kind of the energy of other people and situations so the cards that i pulled are death four wands and the magician interesting cards for sure again um so this energy on the other side in other people or in another person um I feel like they are also in the process of transmuting something about themselves. Um, it could be a person who is in the process of letting go of a you know, current or former relationship or you know, just making changes you know, related to themselves, like maybe they were in a relationship before, they learned a lot about themselves, and now they, you know, are also in the process, like I said, with yourself, of, you know, uprooting old beliefs about love and relationships, to make room for healthier ideas and healthier beliefs. I think We've got this interesting card here, the Four of Wands, which is all about, like, in the old days, a lot of cultures, they used to um, burn the ground or burn, like, forests to make room for fertile ground. So I think we have kind of interesting cards of sort of, like, destruction and endings, like the Death card here. And this one here. But then with the magician here, um, I feel like if this is a person, they are very purposeful and they know what they're doing, like they're actively working on themselves. Or if this is not a specific person, I feel like the energy surrounding you are also quite um, transformative, filled with like people or energies related to to growth and progress and renewal like trying to or wanting to change oneself for the better um, I also picked two cards for advice so we have the Queen of Swords here and the Page of Swords here so there's two cards with air element so the um, element of like thinking, logic, strategy. Um, as an advice, I feel like these cards tell you to kind of be mature, be clever, maybe even detach from your emotions. So don't let your own emotions or the emotions of other people to fool you. Like trust your own vision and be smart about things like for example if you meet a person who is like 
just amazing and you just fall in love with them immediately you know be smart about it still like question your feelings and question like if this person is who they are saying they are or you know if your own mind is making up like dreams about this other person or something like that so just approach love with this sort of detached uh, vision detached emotions um the page of swords here we've got this crow a symbol of a crow um and this card in specific is about like knowledge and cleverness and um of you know having this vision of yourself knowing what you want like like i said ha having knowledge so it's about learning stuff about this other person that you've maybe met or may meet so that you actually know that if if you the two of you were to get into a relationship that who this person is so you won't get fooled or any, anything like that so like be smart and logical regarding your love life okay and lastly i pulled an oracle card for an extra bit of advice from this yogic path oracle card deck And the card that I pulled for you is a card called Santosha, which basically means contentment. So I feel like this card tells you to enjoy what you've got and to relax into the process. So whatever your hopes or dreams may be for your love life, like don't be too like cerebral about it in the end. Like, I know that your advice cards were about, like, being smart and logistical. Um, or logical, I think. Logical, yeah, that's the correct word. But this card here just brings a bit of, like, softness and rela relaxation into this whole thing. So, yeah, be smart about it, but, like, don't stretch. Be smart about it, but don't stress too much, okay? So, pile number one, that was your reading for love. I hope that you enjoyed it and that you got something out of it. Um, if you haven't subscribed yet, please do that to support the channel. Um, also, like and comment if you feel called to do so. Thank you so much for watching. Till next time. Bye-bye. Hello everyone who chose pile two with malachite here are your cards so let's have a look so the first cards that i pulled represent you um as you are currently or in the uh, recent past and towards the future a bit maybe so you as it comes to your love life and we have the temperance here is of wands here and the lovers lovely cards um so i feel like you are in a place of balance and harmony currently um, there could be like a seed of something new that has been planted inside of you like if you are in a relationship or you have someone specific in mind I feel like you have reached a point of wanting something more like marriage kids you know a dog or a house together or something like that or you know if you're not together yet I feel like you could be ready for a relationship and if you are single um i feel like you are in a place where you are just happy and fulfilled as yourself which is great of course for attracting things that you want in your life like love um 
We've got two major arcana cards here, so Temperance and the Lovers. So I feel like this is a long time process. It's possible that you've been in this state of mind and state of being for a while already, or you will stay in this um, stage for a while to come, maybe from a few months up to a few years, something like that even. So yeah, we've got like really lovely balanced cards here with something new. You're expecting something new. Maybe some of you could be having like a baby or dreaming of having a baby or a fur baby. Um, if you prefer to have like pets like dogs or something. So I lit a new incense for you here because they burn quite fast. But yeah, anyway, let's get back to the reading. So these cards that I pulled for you here, they represent you and your, you know, ideas, beliefs, thoughts about love life currently. But then let's look at the cards that represent the other person in your life, if you have someone in mind, or just the energies surrounding you and your love life if you don't have anyone specific in your mind and you just wish to know like what's going on um, so the three cards that i pulled are the page of pentacles nine of cups and the page of wands so I just immediately get the sense that maybe this person in your life, if there is a person, is someone younger than you or maybe someone who is more inexperienced. But I feel like they are this, you know, studious, you know, happy go lucky person. Um maybe someone with big big dreams or maybe they're not actually someone who is like inexperienced related to love but they could be just someone who is like looking to start like a new chapter in their life and they're sort of in this place where where they are a bit like a novice a bit immature um and maybe that reflects in their you know current status in life like like let's say like their money situation currently I'm just getting the sense of like them building something new, happy to learn, it could be related to love or, you know, to other things. Um, I feel like they are quite open to love, they want it and they dream of it, but it's possible that they don't have the skills for it yet, so we could be talking about like emotional skills or just the life skills of, of, you know, like maybe like having a career, stable job, stable income, you know, their own place, things like that. So it could be there, it could be that they are a beginner in that stage or in this stage in their life. So I feel like you have to be a bit patient with them. I'm getting a lot of like genuine emotions and like like i said big dreams big hopes but with a bit of like immaturity or inexperiencedness about them here and then i pulled two cards for an advice so just general advice for this situation and we've got the ten of pentacles and the star um, I feel like this advice could actually be related to this other person or the energy surrounding you. So these cards tell me that there's a bit of healing to do, maybe related to um, like material and physical, maybe even financial stability. Um, Maybe some of you, like, maybe some of you have a person who is coming, 
like a person in your life who is coming from an unstable background like maybe a low income family or something like that or like I said maybe it's possible that they're just a person who are like hoping to build these like material and physical um, surroundings for themselves for them to be more stable than they are currently because with you I just get that you're quite established quite mature quite balanced of course these cards could also refer to you that maybe you you come from this unstable background in some way and you're still trying to heal from it and you're you are trying to build that foundation for yourself could be related to like other parts of your life as well or in your life in general but it could also reflect your love life like i just get this sense of like balance and harmony so if you are not at this stage yet i feel like you are trying to achieve that in your life and of course if if you have a person in your life who is sort of like a novice like maybe in relationships or maybe in life in general like maybe they're a student or they've just started their own business so they're not really that far along in their career so of course it reflects on you and your life together as well so yeah i'm just sensing a lot of like like newness and lovely energies but also some work related to building stable foundations okay and lastly i pulled a card for an extra bit of advice from this yogic path oracle card deck and the card that i pulled for you is called samadhi which is like a yoga term and you know it like yoga and meditation i guess and it refers to like the deepest level of awareness like the point where the cosmic and human consciousness becomes one so this is a very blissful card so as an advice i would um I would say that this refers to like relaxing a bit like like i said maybe there's a bit of work to be done but there's also a lot of like love and balance and harmony in your life so i would just relax into into the trust that things usually work out for us in the best way so you don't really have to stress about it it might be even beneficial to you know like meditate or do some yoga maybe journaling things like that just to kind of calm yourself down and just learning to trust that things will be okay no matter what okay so part number two that was your reading i hope that you enjoyed it and that you got a lot out of it um like and comment if you feel called to do so and if you haven't subscribed yet please do that i really appreciate the support so thank you so much till next time bye bye hello everyone who chose pile three with jet here are your cards so Let's have a look what they tell us so the first three cards that i pulled for you represent you um currently as it comes to your love life and when i say currently that could be um right now or a bit towards the past or a bit towards the future okay but basically currently the current situation so we have the five of wands seven of swords and five of swords 
so these are tough cards a bit um like my first intuition is that you don't really know what you want and maybe you are afraid of showing your true face to other people or if you have someone in your life already i feel like you are afraid of like showing yourself to this person i feel like you could want love as this is a love reading i feel like you do want love and maybe you do want to be in a committed relationship but you're like scared and conflicted for some reason i like feel like maybe you feel like the person who you are is not worth it for some reason so you just avoid and you avoid who you are and you hide it from yourself maybe maybe from other people as well um maybe there is a background of like arguments and fights like could be in a previous relationship or maybe your childhood home was a bit maybe even abusive like maybe your childhood home was abusive or your previous relationship was abusive or maybe maybe this is even like you like it could of course represent going through like abuse from another person but it could also mean like you having this shadow side of being kind of argumentative mean person like it doesn't mean that you're a bad person but i feel like there could be like these shadow sides to yourself that you should look into i just get like the sense of unease here like fears maybe that's why you if this represents you it's possible that you are like this argumentative person because you are so afraid deep within yourself and you just don't know who you are and what you want so you show this fake version of yourself to other people you wear a mask but i feel like deep inside like of course all of us have like negative characteristics as well so there's nothing to be ashamed of but i feel like at the same time you're like this beautiful person inside maybe you're not showing your best self out to the world but it's not like your entire personality it's not all that you are okay so then let's look at the cards surrounding you so these cards could represent another person in your life so if you are in a relationship it could be your partner or if you have a love interest it could be that person or it could be just energy surrounding you in general when it comes to your love life so we have the three of wands strength and the chariot To me, the three of wands is a long-term or like, sorry, long distance relationship card. Maybe there's someone who is waiting for you, like waiting for you to arrive or vice versa. You're waiting for them to arrive. Like you know them, but maybe you haven't met them or something like that. Or you live in two different places and you just meet each other infrequently. But I'm just getting this sense of like waiting and hoping for the other person to arrive. Um, I feel like this person, if we are talking about a specific person, they have a lot of like compassion for you. Like maybe they know about your struggles, um, but they're not like scared of that side of you like they maybe they've been they know you well and they've been dealing with dealing with it 
for a while or they just really have this like inner sense of confidence and strength about them so that you know they know that they will be okay no matter what and they're not like scared of like any negative aspects of you that they may encounter the chariot here tells me that this person or these energies are very like determined so what i said about you maybe not knowing what you want and who you are um in that case i feel like you have to be careful because usually when you don't know what you want but some other person does know what they want you know you usually end up doing what the other person wants so i i don't think they have any like like bad plans they're not a, like a bad person or anything like that but i feel like they are a more like put together like powerful um like maybe not powerful but empowered person compared to you I feel like you might be a bit lost but with them they're like very i'm just getting like this very clear powerful image from them like outside maybe they're like really ambitious going for what they want could be also related to their love life and this relationship possibly but there's also like a lot of inner strength like i said a lot of compassion so i'm just getting this interesting contrast of like soft and hard when it comes to this person or energies the energies of a possible person um that may be out there for you like if you're single and you don't have anyone in your mind right now and then i pulled two cards for advice like how to proceed in this situation what to do and we've got the eight of cups and the den of swords so like this card shows here you know this card could advise you to walk away physically from this situation but as the cups are about like emotional aspects of you and life i feel like this card could be advising you to just take some time for yourself and get to know yourself and your emotions like i said i got this sense of you being a bit lost like not knowing who you are so i feel like this card could advise you to distance yourself emotionally from this situation like like if this is a relationship that you are in in that case distance yourself a bit from this relationship it doesn't mean like breaking up or anything like that but just taking time for yourself or if you are not in a relationship currently in that case it could just mean like not thinking about love and relationships for a while like maybe you've been wanting a relationship but it hasn't happened so this um just tells you to just kind of withdraw into yourself a bit and you know study your emotions stuff like that and then we have the ten of swords which like i i don't like this card because it always scares me but from experience i know that this card like refers to overthinking like it's kind of a traumatic card but it's like over traumatic so it could be that the situation here makes you feel like you are this person like you're just extremely hurt and you've hit the rock bottom but at the same time it's, it's telling you that you know like you're overthinking it like it's not that bad you will get over it or this situation will pass and everything like will be okay so just relax a bit don't be over dramatic and maybe that's like a hard advice to hear when you know obviously you might be going through a lot in your life but yeah this is basically what the card is saying like 
it's gonna be okay don't worry about it and lastly as an extra bit of advice i drew a card from this yogic path oracle card deck And the card that I drew for you is Shiva and Shiva is a god of destruction and rebirth. Um, I think this is an interesting card to receive in this re uh, reading. Because sort of like the energies that I got from like you, maybe like you or the situation that you are in, they are quite destructive currently but this card here advises you to um, use that destruct destructive energy into your advantage and to build something new um, it of course requires you to go inside and do some inner work on yourself and on your beliefs maybe related to love and relationships and maybe related to other aspects of your life as well but this is also a card of like becoming liberated a card of liberation so destruction may feel extremely scary but in the end it, it can be super freeing as well and there's the chance of rebirth so i just feel like there are like these tough energies here that you have to move away from because maybe they are stopping you from living your life the way you want maybe there's like a lot of self-hate maybe there's a lot of like toxic experiences with other people maybe you yourself have been toxic But don't feel ashamed of it. Just use that energy to work on yourself and to build something new, okay? So, pile three, that was your reading. I hope that you enjoyed it and that you got a lot out of it. Um, if you haven't subscribed yet, please do that. I always appreciate the support. And like and comment if you feel called to do so um hope to see you again thank you for watching till next time bye bye